Hello there, my name is Mr. Smarlunk here. Welcome to another co-op Let's Play on Total War Attila. With me is HempKnight79. Hello there, guys. HempKnight79 here. And we're playing as the Jutes and the Picts. We figured we would start close enough together that we can help each other out um, after a few turns. Or, well, after a little bit, but anyway. Uh, but we didn't want to start too close to each other with picking two of the um, Celtic factions because then we're going to be scrambling for... Um, regions early on, so we figured Jutes and Pict sounds like a good idea. Plus, they're both blue, so you know that works out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd have a problem really if we both say you did Caledonians or Abdanians. You know, you know straight away that there's there's no um, there's no chance of getting a, an initial province. So exactly, yeah. So uh, we we'll have links in the description to each other's channels and videos and like just like normal with other co-ops that I do as well. And um, also playing a legendary, because anything below that, I mean, come on, what's what's other difficulties? They don't even exist anymore, do they? It's all about legendary. I don't think I've, I think since Shogun. In fact, it was probably since Empire I started on the very hard, very hard there. Um, and then Shogun was really where I started picking up into uh, the legendary. There's some good campaigns there. If you if people out there want to learn how to do legendary. Uh, I'd definitely say go back to Shogun and uh, play a few of the campaigns there. There's some really easy ones for Legendary. Yeah, yeah. Shogun 2 is the the game where I started Legendary as well. And then I started Rome 2 of Legendary immediately. And uh, this game, I didn't really play much in the beginning uh, on single player. So I didn't really play anything besides, well, co-op, I guess. And then when I started doing single player, I went to Legendary immediately as well. But that was only because I got some experience from co playing co-op on hard with uh, someone else. Right. Right, so we are skipping the cutscenes. I'll try to edit one in for my viewers uh, later on, but yeah. Okay, so I guess you get your turn first. Yeah, I can't remember what to do. Let's see. So I'm just going to have a quick look at my generals, see what uh, I've got here, if I've got any decent generals that I'll. Uh... Right, see, he's a governor. I'll use my king, I think. I'm just going to merge my armies together, and first turn, I'm just going to go straight in and uh, take out the Caledonians, I think. Sounds like a good idea. I've got some so horrible the, wives. The second general, I'm just going to disband him, because he's, he's going to make a good governor. Um, looking at him, he had a 3% tax rate bonus. Not bad. Um, so just have a look at my states and see what kind of governors I've got, because... I mean, I could use the king and start getting uh, influence built up on the king, but you know, I'd rather have one of the other generals that's a bit younger. Uh, look at one of the sons, Ray's Banner, it's pretty good. Uh, leader. Uh, yeah, I think I'll change to my my uh, my son. I'm just so just going to change out and. I got some like horrible wives. They're all like negative. It's annoying. Um, yeah, mine is actually Ugh, arrogant. Plus one authority to all for public order, but the minus one cunning. I don't like. Yeah, I don't like important. the minus one cunning. Cunning so, so important. Right. Just gonna have a look at the technology quickly. Get everything set up and. Uh, yeah, don't take your time. Okay, I need to go look through all my stuff as well. So with technology, I'm going to go into the military one first for militarized society. Uh, yeah. I'm picking that up because it's minus 10 uh, for the melee infantry upkeep cost. Um, I'll probably finish that whole first one because it's a lot of recruitment cost negatives. and So I'll probably finish off the, the first tier military and then I'll pro probably focus on civic technologies after that. Uh, quick good. look at okay so trade wise I'm stuck until I can get a port so it's either the Abdanians or a bit lower alright so nice easy first term go straight for the uh... do you want to join me in this war or uh, yeah I'm, I'm assuming you're going to take them out actually they've got a second army don't they yeah I can do it as a night attack though oh yeah right no I mean like as in they're probably going to run away from you aren't they if you do this as a night attack, then that second army is just going to run, and they'll come for me, I know it. And then they'll destroy <laughs> me, because you pulled me into this war. No, it's alright. Uh, let's see what we got. Mm. 
Mm. Just going to in circle for now. Um, Surprising. I'm just wondering if it's still cheap. Yeah, it's really cheap for me to pick up an Onager, so I'm going to just pick up an Onager. Oh, that's a smart um, idea. Yeah. Pick up some Axe units as well. So, set that up as a night attack. So, just yeah, I've just recruited a couple of Axe units and a uh, Mercenary Onager. But it's nice. nice and cheap for the picks. It's like 240 instead of the 1,000 that it is for everybody else. Oh, the Onager, yeah. It's pretty crazy. All right. What have we got here? Decent army. Oh, yeah, and a night battle. Wow, they've only got a few units. It's surprising yeah. how fair is still in their favor. Well, not in their I favor, but like how, how big the Boris still is for them. Compared to your army. Got some Berserkers in there as well. So what's the tactic going to be? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to have a look at the field and then... Uh... Probably try and utilize the Onager. They'll, they'll come out at me, that's the thing, because I've got the Onager. Oh, right, yeah. And they'll lightly charge me. So I'm probably going to set up on a nice field rather than. I, I think I've got the, the hill here. I don't really like attacking from this side. Yeah, the Onager should be a good way to lure them out. Now you've got race and range advantage besides that as well, so even if they do come out, just throw some spears at them. Don't have to worry about the Archer Towers too much. A bit of a delay here loaded in. Yeah, my uh, my game's been acting up lately a little bit as well. It seems to right. take some time sometimes for whatever reason. Anyway, I'm in now. Yeah, looks like I'm loading in. There we go. Yeah, so this side where I'm deployed here... Um, I, I don't really like fighting up this hill, so I think I'll probably come in from the, the flatter terrain. Uh, it allows me to take out a couple of towers with the Onager. Sounds good. I'll set up like so. Use flame shot on my uh, archers. Probably lead in with the the levies because they don't. If I remember rightly, they're pretty crap. And I had a look at some of the units. They didn't seem great. Yours or theirs? Or both? Pardon? You, are your units crap or, or theirs? Or both? Uh, I think both. But the levy, these, the Celtic levy, the Spearmen, they're not very good at all, really. Um, right. And the Celtic band aren't that great. Thanks for the units. Yeah, no problem. I will get them killed. Accordingly. <laughs> and that's how we. So you want to just uh, wait them out, basically, just have a ranged battle as much as we can. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just gonna just see if I've got the Onager in the right position, really. As long as I can, uh... no, I can take out the closest tower and then I'll move in with the Onager a little bit. I think. Well, I've got some uh, graphical glitches for whatever reason. Something's going on, but it's fine. It seems to be gone now. Anyway, I am ready whenever you are. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to work out where to put the axeman for. I'll put them here. Are they the mercenary ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Kill, kill, kill. There they are. General front. How convenient. I know, I was just thinking there. The general's coming at us. He's just coming straight for us, isn't he? Yep. That's the first shot's coming in. Oh, what a hit. Instantly killed 25 men. 
and a couple of good hits there. How is he still alive? That last hit was like right on him. I kind of want to run in there and just throw javelins <laughs> at him, but don't want to get these men killed. Yeah, that spear unit's sort of protecting their arches a bit for a charge, isn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised the archers aren't goes. firing. Oh. What a hit, another one. Oh my god, those are like, you're an honor jurist, for whatever reason, they've got like the best aim ever. <laughs> I'm not used to honor doing that, it's, uh, that effective to be fair. I think every shot so far has been a hit. But their general's still standing. Alright, they're firing at me. I think I'm just gonna run in there real quick, throw a bunch of javelins at him. Concealed units. I'm just changing the Onager because uh, the cap being there. Sure. It's uh, spear units coming for me. I should be able to keep luring him away. Okay, I got his archer broken. I'm gonna keep chasing him now. Okay. All right, they're completely gone. Ready for battle. Okay, I'm just going to charge the mercenaries up. Yep. Right, I'm going to get caught a little bit here. Should be able to assassinate a general fairly quickly here. Okay, I'm gonna focus the tower a little bit now so we're not taking fire from that. Yep, sounds good. Enemy general's dead, there you go. Nice. Okay, and this unit's gone as well. I'm just gonna charge the cab in there now. Get the kills as fast as possible. Hopefully we don't take too much of the tower and just want to tower then. Yeah, everything's uh, running now. Yeah, it's a pretty good first fight, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that results, to be fair. As, as good as the... Uh, as the uh, Onager was doing just now, it's not had a single watchtower fully yet. <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> This is where it misses and hits all the cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too far off. Alright, one unit left, and that's it. There we go. That's it, should be over. Yep. I'm just going to finish up there. Um, yep. There's no point in chasing on a, a town victory, we'll kill everything that's there. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a little bit of experience, but experience seems to be relatively hard to come by in this game anyway. Probably take more losses from the tower than it's worth getting experience for. To, yeah, to be honest. Um... Well, that was a pretty quick first victory, I'd say. That was uh, went very well, actually. I think that the general going down so early, you know, getting the cab in there and getting rid of my gen that general for me was uh was brilliant well thank you very much uh i'll just occupy here and right, let's have a look at this field uh, army yeah i've not got the movement to be able to charge that down so i'm gonna leave that army as it is i think um it's a full 20 stack army let's have a look at the generals that i've got yeah if you don't have to pay much for the uh on you may as well keep it I'm going to raise another general quickly. Uh, I've got one that's uh, a fighter here. So he can just park in and start looking at a new army. Um, I can only recruit three at a time. Interesting. Let's have a look at the buildings I've got quick. And then, uh, right, so I've got a farm and a prime forest. <laughs> I'm going to knock down the Prime Forest. There's no point in me having that yet. Really. 
Uh, I'm having problems with Squalor. So if I take down the Prime Forest, I get an extra bonus from in like industry buildings, but I've no trade routes at the moment, so I might as well get some of my sanitation buildings in there. Yeah. I worry about picking that up later on in the game. Because wood's one of those resources, it's everywhere. In this yeah, map. it's pretty common, yeah. I've got one as well. Actually, there's one in uh, Herefness Halt as well, yeah. Okay. Ooh, this tree's a bit different. I want to upgrade the general, I want to go for the, the cunning straight away. Uh, one of the reasons I go for cunning straight away is um, it reduces the upkeep of the army. Right. So as much money as I can save, and then probably on his next upgrade, I'll probably go into the looting income. So I get sort of the cunning, the looting income, then start going for like the melee attack and uh, bonuses and things like that. And see if I can pull this off. Just a quick look and see if I can get trade agreement out of the Romans for a couple of turns. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Those pesky Romans. Yeah, luckily they're weak in Britain, so I should be able to stomp through and get Britain quite quickly. Uh, not really much I can do here. Okay, that'll do. And... I think I'm just double checking. Oh, hang on, one sec. <laughs> I've not put anybody into office. Uh huh. Right, there we go. Oh, a governor. No, I'll do that next turn because the one I kicked was the one I wanted as a governor. All oh, right. I've got one with the, you know, the plus wealth from agriculture, which might be good early on. But uh, I want the tax rate one, really. Yeah. yeah. Right, Just switching around some generals as well. I got some family members that have like controversial stuff like one of my sons has got like a steadfast defender which gives him an extra morale on defending but his traits administrator so you want to have him as a governor but it makes his like extra or his skill a bit pointless well yeah unless you get rebellions when you move on in that province and uh, if they attack the capital then he comes in as your general that's you, true you yeah know, you get a good use of that defensive bonus but it's not as good as being in the field, though, is it? Not really. Do you have any uh, any sons that need any wives? Um, actually, I forgot to do that. I've got uh, two. Have I've got, got a any... daughter as well. Is she any good? Uh, plus one authority, but minus one cunning. Hmm. Welcome. Oh yeah, arrogant. Let's give you my wife then. Let's break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Well, I mean, she's not really that special either, is she? But Thank you. She's, uh... Uh, that'll come in handy, because I think it's gone to my heir. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, with my heir. So the heir's the my one that I'm doing majority of the attacking come. with. The nice. So, to get the religious the state influence, it's going to help me with the public order. Do you want uh, that one of mine? Nah, she's a bit... meh. <laughs> All right. I'll have a look and see if there's any other women around there. I just called your daughter a shit. Yeah, she what is. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, you end up with a decent governor type in your family that's uh, got a cunning bonus that might work. You know, that authority is an extra public order if you look at it that way. Yeah, I do like authority, yeah. And I, that's one thing you might be able to answer. Like, the um, <clears throat> when you've got low cunning as a governor, you've got. Um, increase maintenance costs. It doesn't yeah. even do anything for factions that don't have maintenance. Uh, I'm not sure. I've or never really it... looked at it. I've just kind of avoided it. 
Yeah, because I, I think um, the um, the Roman faction they've got maintenance costs, don't they? Yeah. So I guess it like it's for them, but because you'd think like I guess what we have instead is food, because our our things cost food, and I think theirs cost maintenance instead. Isn't um, it? it's or a lot they... of the churches, so their religious buildings have a maintenance cost to them. Right. Um, and I think some of their public order buildings have a maintenance cost. I see. But yeah. Mainly their their churches. Right, there's a bunch of good women, but they've got like plus two cunning, which isn't all that amazing. But good for a general. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is. But I mean, it's for um, this would be for my um, for my governor or for my future governor anyway. So well, in that case, it's not as good. But if you're looking for one for a governor, it, yeah, then yours is, is good. Mine. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take that one then. Yeah. Uh, wait, picked. Where are you at? There you are. A good pork I just called her horrible and I want her. <laughs> Give me your daughter. Thank you. A right pair of whoremongers, aren't we? <laughs> a flapping tongue that speaks Let's see if anyone wants to get some trade welcome. with me as well. Be like a spear and Are you lucky you can get trade? <laughs> yeah, I've got some. Uh, I've got an, a navy, don't know, I already got that at a uh, port. Are you want to pay me 300? No. How about we just trade? How about that? No, rejected. It's the Danes. I don't really want to pay them for trade if I'm going to take them out soon. Which I probably will. Abdanians, how about we some trade? To listen to your offer. Nope. So it looks like the Geats will trade, but I'm probably going to take them out right away. Like turn one. Huh? I'm not sure how to handle it with the Dukes, because, I mean, you could you could quite easily take Ref and Schultz on the first turn. Yeah, I think I will. have yourself a, a capital city. But then don't forget, you've got the Angolus underneath you, and they're very aggressive. Yeah, it should be alright. Let's see. Oh god, those are expensive. Oh man, they are 433 a turn, that's great. Let's see, I can hire up to 20 units, and then I've got my navy, which I can hire some stuff with as well. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just do that. This will cost me a lot of money. Okay, let's do it. It is done. Yes. Right, so I blockade the port first, or I land my army first. Yeah, uh, blockade the port, then land your army. Okay. Sorry, Geats, but I need your province. Alright, should I call you in as well? On this yeah, I'll join you on that one. Cool. Alright. Okay, definitely not going to fight that. No, army get in the water, and then land right there. Okay, can I actually hire any more different mercenaries here? No, I mean yeah, I'm full sure. anyway. It's, but yeah, I think it's provincial. They, they yeah, I thought so. Right, I can hire one ship as well. It's good for that. Why not? Every little bit counts, I suppose. Okay, let's uh. Let's fight another battle then. Oh wow, this is auto resolvable. It's what, sorry? It's auto resolvable. Like, really? I can auto resolve it, yeah. It's fairly far in my favor. It's like 20% theirs. Ooh. I think I'll just auto resolve it. Yeah, go for it. I mean, if you can get the win, I would imagine the majority of the losses will hit your fleet. The only problem being, fleets take a long time to re replenish. Yeah, it's true. Eh, I think I'd still rather... Let's see, should I go for balance? I do have an onager. I guess they have one too, but yeah, I'll go for protective. Do I? Let's go balance. I don't, I don't... I never know with these things. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I took a lot of losses on the ships, but they're still alive, so that's good. Hey. Okay. Alright, then I will just occupy this place. Don't want to piss anyone off yet. Alright, that's good. Army, can you get in there? Can't. Oh no, that's on the navy. <laughs> Let's get in the city. There you go. You didn't take many losses there at all, did you? No, it's uh, somewhat surprising. I lost like 700 and something men. Right, uh, that does leave Alibu fairly open, but I should be alright. I don't think they can really... Eh, they could actually. Well, let's just hope they don't. Um, right, so that's, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna let these provinces fix themselves, I think. Got some sanitation issues as well, well, so 
Make some have you money. got a, how you do it for money? Because you've got a lot of mercenaries there. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of most of them. Definitely yeah. the onager, which will nearly fix my entire problem. And uh, this unit is expensive. You're all right. You're pretty expensive. I'm gonna keep some units at least. Cavalry is not too bad. Oh, actually, two of those are mine. Right. If I disband you, I'm up to a thousand income, and I leave a few. I leave three extra units just there. Keep with me, mercenary wise. They're 86 and 91 upkeep each, so I'll just keep them. Oh, and the uh, the ship I can get of as well, 185 for 26 men. No, no thanks. I'd merge those other ships as well. Save yourself a little bit more money. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. If it's gonna take so long to get them back anyway, let's merge these two. And then I'll probably recruit another one, which I can't do right now, but. Next turn, I've got some money. Right, now my general level up. A good naval defender. I actually forgot if I wanted to change anyone out, but I guess I don't. This guy's a good naval defender, which gives him naval stuff, so I guess I'll keep him as my navy leader. I do have a 45-year-old general, or um, high king, which I don't like too much, but he's still my best one, I suppose, so I'll keep him out as well. All right, anyway, let me do your level up, sir. Uh, an extra 40. And I'll take Seal and Raven. Okay. And I don't have any money to recruit a unit. Do you have any any spare money, perhaps? Yeah, I can spare a thousand for you. Okay. Normally I wouldn't do that on turn one, but I'd like to recruit a few units at least right away. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I've got some easy Welcome. takes. So, we will talk and then we will feast uh, and what I was thinking was that my... I'll see about getting rid of the Caledonians and the Abdanians. And then, uh, yeah, you're welcome. And then once that's done, you know, I can maybe see about sending an army over to you to help you with push through into Northern Europe. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Alright, that'll make me have 19 units. These Frawl Skirmishers, they're so good and they're so cheap compared to like the Nordic Band, which is like the worst unit in the game. I hate the Nordic Band. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone does. They're so pointless. Even yeah. when they're upgraded through technology, they're still not that great. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. I kind of want to make one more. It's a Herdman on the other hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, they'll be a good one to go for. Probably just get rid of my Nordic Band next turn or something when I can recruit more units. Okay, let's quickly go through all this stuff. And I think that will be that gone through diplomacy. Although I'm, I'm sure people dislike me a little bit now for taking out the uh, Geats all like that. Oh, you, you love me. That's good. Not too surprised there either, to be honest. Greetings. Okay, right, let's just end the turn. Oh right, an edict. Yes, let's do that. Let's get the judgment of Woden. Extra public order be good. All right, let's see if the Geats decide to attack me right away or not. Looks like the Caledonians run away from your town. Yeah, they uh, moved very fast there. <laughs> yeah. Saxons are returning home. There's the Geats. So oh, it looks like they are attacking me. Maybe. Nope, they're not. Thought that navy was going towards my town. Yeah, I just saw that. I was like, oh, oh no, 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 no! Don't, don't attack <laughs> Alabu. Yeah, I probably should have, as reinsurance, just hired a general there. You know, maybe one or two. Um... Well, what I would suggest is move your full army back to Alabu. Um, hire a new general in Reffenshalt and just put a few skirmish units. Yeah, that's not a bad idea since it's a walled city. Yeah. So that should protect you against um, the gates. Just build sort of a small uh, defensive army, so at least Alibu's protected. And yeah, and yeah, because the uh, the angles might attack me as well if they are uh, feeling like it. I'll uh, I'll probably do that. Just gonna have a look at the building chain quickly at the chieftain's house to see what. Uh... Mm. Berserkers. I don't really like berserkers because you lose control of them. Yeah, I uh, I had that 
thing as well when I was playing the pick they, they look quite good but losing control I had them in one battle at one point they were on the other side of the battlefield chasing like units off while I was still fighting a big battle Okay, build a well. Well, well, well. Yes. I'm taking, uh, let's have a look at my food situation actually. Plenty of food, so I'm knocking down a farm here, building a well. Um, I've got sanitation issues in the main capital, which should be balanced out when I take out this, yeah. Uh, I think I'm training the technology for the carver. Train, we'll go for that one first. Have a nosy what these guys have got. And then so next turn, that should be an easy, uh, easy take. Public order is a bit of a problem. Okay, so let's put a governor in. Oh, you're yeah, just jumping right straight towards Abdania or the Abdanians. Yeah, I'm gonna just basically pick up. Got my governor sorted. Um, I need to secure some loyalty here. I like that my 22-year-old wife is uh married to your heir <laughs> families are forever intertwined or whatever that word is got a bit of a problem with loyalty here on the, the guy i've just put in as a general which is a bit of a nightmare what's he uh, at three. Oh yeah no, it's quite risky i've never actually had someone go to zero did i just like if they're a governor, do they just take over the town? Or um, I've not had it with a governor. Um, I've had them go to zero when they've got a small army, but they, they tend to take select units from the army. Oh, um, right. And so, you end up with a civil war. I see. But it's just him, like that one army. Yeah. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't like recruit other armies or whatever. But they tend to turn into a horde, so if you leave them unchecked for long enough... Uh, then they can like become your horde. Yeah. Right, I see. That's interesting. It should be a faction that starts as like a civil war faction, like where you start as the one doing the civil warring. That would be cool. I'm still trying to get that trade agreement with Rome, but they're not having it at the moment. So that was a fast turn. <laughs> well, those happen. Right, let's see. I actually forgot to put someone in office last turn. Put him in now. Um, so I'm gonna listen to your advice and send my army back. And then I'll recruit a new general, which will be this guy, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. I mean, just looking at the horde, that um, gates horde, it can't make it to your city in next turn. All right. That's good. Um, it's not raiding or anything, I don't think, so... I'll leave my navy there anyway, just as a precaution. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of... Actually, I might just keep those units for now. First off, recruit that general. Raise forces. Uh, right, so he's gonna be a governor. Then we'll take this fella. 29-year-old. And recruit some frost skirmishers. They're super cheap as well, and they're just amazing. Yeah, and then you can set them on the walls, and if they do come and attack, you know, at least you defend it. Maybe a couple of units of spear as well later on. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't need to be a massive army, just a small army that, with your fleet and the, the garrison army that's there, you know, you should be alright. Yeah, exactly. My friend, be welcome. The spirits of this place smile oh, upon you. The that's God's annoying, blessed. right? I was going to give you back your money, but it only does lets me do it in gifts of like, 
Actually, that will all do. I'll just give you two gifts. It's all right. I'm all right for it for now. Um, I've not really got much income Welcome. or expenditure. We will talk, I would feel, I'd feel bad if I keep it. <laughs> well, I'll do for this turn, mate. Do all right. some more next time. Cool. Uh, I think that will be that once again. So I've got one person going into office, and besides that, there's not really anything else I can do. All right, that's my new general, so I'll make him into a companion as well. And I'm gonna make sure this gets repaired and the artisan gets repaired, and that one will fix itself. All right. The Caledonians again. Only saw a small blimp of movement from them there. Yeah, I didn't recruit last turn either, so. <laughs> Could be trouble. Get your bargaining off. If they're gonna sit there, it could be annoying. It's gonna hurt your income a bit and your food. Yeah. No war declared on me yet by the angles, somewhat surprising. Warriors all. Ooh, my uh, loyalty bribe didn't work. That's a shame. Okay, next fight. Just going to check before I do declare. I'm just going to check with the Adanians to see who they're at war with. This is going to hurt me um, diplomacy wise because I've got an on aggression pack with these guys. Hmm. That's a shame. I will join you, ally. <laughs> forever. Right, night attack. That is so useful. Just going to encircle for now while I uh, look at a few other things here. this fight cool just finished renaming my armies as well <laughs> so what we're we going up against a couple of uh, port units they've got what one unit cav archers this should be a nice easy fight again oh yeah very similar to the last one except they've got two ships I guess It's funny, the night attack like check marked is there for me as well. I wonder if I can like uncheck it <laughs> and then you have to fight. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> if you're just like playing online with some random person who just went into it as a night attack and you're like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that would be um fairly annoying. I don't know, I'll check next time if I can actually uncheck it or if it's just like there for show so I can see that you're doing a night attack. <laughs> I must admit with the picks, this is a very powerful racial tra uh, faction trait. It really is, isn't it? Early in the game, it's just it's allowed me to just snatch these two territories. The, I think it, be, it has become available for generals at level 6 cunning or something as well. I like think normally. it is, yeah. But you, it takes a while to get the cunning up yeah, unless you get lucky. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I could have had a wife of like plus two, that would have gone a long way. But besides mm -hmm. that, it's fairly tough to get it up. And you're looking, if said. you get lucky and you, you roll a general that's got the plus cunning trait, um, then there's the, the plus cunning actual bonus. Uh, then if he's got a wife with plus cunning, you can get up to sort of five cunning. So you could get to six the first time he levels up, but other than that, you, you know, seven, you're probably looking at a rank three general. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at the best way in here. It's raining, it's a shame. Yeah. They'll probably come out for you again if you just hold back, I suppose. They had two ships as well, right? Do you remember They've got two ships, yeah. What kind of ships were they? Um, 
As long as there's no Just onager the anyway, ones. it's yeah. As long as there's no onager, it's fine. Right, let's have a look. It'll take a while to take these towers down. Yeah, yeah. damn rain. Yeah, I reckon they'd probably just come for you again, like last time. In fact, I'm gonna separate these up a little bit. The spear unit, the furthest on the left, isn't actually in the range of one of those towers. Is it? Yeah, if you hold the spacebar, you'll uh, see that like massive ring. Oh yeah. Just barely. I reckon his uh, ships are probably going to come around and land like here again as well. Oh, they always like to do that too. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably land there. To be fair, I mean it's only two. It's yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too fast. much. Yeah. Um, are you set up? Oh right, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> sorry, I'd give the same units again. Missiles ready. All right, I'm good to go. Other uh, range ships, uh, same difference. Did they have a general in here? Oh yeah, there he is. I can't see where it. Where? Oh yeah, he's just disappeared again. He's right up top. I can't show. Like I can't do the paint thing, but he's on. The, he's near the um, the capture point. We have sighted the enemy. Well. Looks like uh, some of our units are definitely interested in coming for us. Let's see if I can get rid of this tower and then we can move in. Oh yeah, that's a good hit right there. I like it when a tower's sort of set up in that position because if you miss, you tend to overshoot, so I'm going to burn down his settlement anyway. Yeah. I like that too. Like one of his brigand unit is uh, interested in having a bit of a ranged fight. One v three or six or however many we have. Yeah, he's deciding that probably wasn't too good of an idea. <laughs> oh, those two uh, navy ships are coming around soon. Need rid of this tower. One more. There we go. It's gone. Yep. That's good. Then we can freely walk forward and murder them. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Gods, watch over us. Missile warriors. There's a stupid little house in front of my uh, range units. It's going to stop me from advancing properly. Chase down cavalry spears there, it's not working. Oh, right, yeah, they're annoying. Okay, I'm taking care of the range units on the beach so I can get my cav around. Ready. Now. Fire on them. Battle ready. Good 
Looks like another fairly easy victory here. It's looking that way. I think I'll charge the general there. The cavalry. Some more javelins thrown at him. Oh my god. Straight shot on the general by the onager. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I missed it. Okay, stop and fire everybody on go. Terrible charge by the cavalry, still did a decent bit of damage there. The men are broken and running for their lives. What? What men are broken? You're fired. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay, general's running. I took a lot of losses on this one, but uh... Hmm. How many of these units were still your um, mercenaries? There's only the two axe units and the the Onager. Uh, the Onager. Okay, so not too many then. That Cav unit is just running for his life, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can draw him back in a bit. It didn't help that I didn't deploy the general with the army. <laughs> He's right at the back. Oh, oh yeah, I see. <laughs> I've made that mistake before as well. Alright, I'll send my cab over towards his. Cause that's the that's the only unit left now, isn't it? Just that cavalry unit, yeah. Yeah. So that's gone. Oh, he's gone, gone now. There we go. Good. All right. Victory. Well, the victory. Decisively. Ah. It's only the levy that I've lost, so I'm not. Yeah. Fine. You replenish them fairly quickly. Most of your range is unscathed. I'm gonna do a loot and occupy here because I need the I need a bit of income. Um, but boom, yeah, loot and occupy. Okay, and the army's upgraded, so let's have a look. Right, so it's the same as everything else. So I'll build down the left side of the tree. Um, so we've got growth for the province, and I'll build into the replenishment. Don't think I'll be able to follow up as fast as you did. I don't think I'll be able to take the Danes out yet this turn, anyway. Got to deal with these. Uh, Keep armies and such first, I think. Okay, I'm just having a look at the buildings. Fishing jetties, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, still good for food here. Yeah. Just gonna have a look at the farms because there's a, another option in the farms here for the picts. Oh yeah, the enclosement or something, right? Yeah, the enclosure. Enclosure, yeah, that's it. Looks it's food, 80. Seems to give the same unlocks as the, um, the pastures. But gives a lot more food. It takes squalor negatives from it and uh, public order negatives. Right. I, I think I will build that one though, because uh, that extra food's going to be quite eat nice uh, to have. Uh, it's going to allow me to hopefully. Yeah, I'll knock that down. Right, and I'm recruiting this time. <laughs> uh, I've got to get this loyalty secured. I 
I'll try just chucking him in office first. That sometimes helps. Growth seems to be working all right. I need five, really. And quick check of the diplomacy. So, like, annoying how, like, the Nordic band are, like, horrible. And then the next one up from that, the, the Nordic Brigade, they're still, like, just as bad. Mm -hmm. Except they've got one extra javelin to throw. Except it's immune to snow attrition. I guess that's something. But I wouldn't buy a unit just for that. Hmm. Having this port at Eplana hasn't opened up trade routes for me. Does it have to be like a certain... I think it's because it's on island. I think it's going to need... I'm going to need to go and take Sigontium and, and link it up through land. Maybe. Which is a bit annoying. Is it not because it's broken or damaged? Uh, Don't know if that makes a difference or not. I'm not sure, to be honest. No. All right. Oh God, my income is just horrendous right now. No, mine is. <laughs> Got an income of ninety-eight a turn. Oh God, that's worse than mine. Kind of tempted to attack that navy just to get rid of him. I don't know if I'd win it. Probably would. They got five. How many have you got? With a weak general like that, uh, I'd, I'd go in. I can hire no mercenaries. I'd leave it at turn. Yeah, well, I think they're just going to go further and further away and I'll probably never be able to catch them. It's annoying that you don't get, any, or you don't get much experience on this battle, so these ships, they're just, just as bad as theirs, really. Alright, I'll leave it then. Um, I think this is the turn I'll get rid of these mercenaries. They don't cost much more than the other ones, but... I don't really have that much money, so get rid of it for now. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Um, create another one of those, and I think I'll yeah I'll leave the um the army in roughness hold the way it is with just those mm -hmm. five units. Should be able to do well enough. Question is, do I start moving towards Huffen? I I got a feeling they've probably got a lot over there. I would send my navy over there, but um, you're probably looking at two stacks and a half stack navy. Yeah. At Huffen, the pro. It's difficult this this one, if I remember rightly, because as soon as you move towards Huffen and try and take that, the Angulus are going to come from underneath. Yeah, that's true. Too. Um, now if you go and attack the Angulus, you're going to go up against two stacks, so. I'd, yeah, I'd have a nosy with your fleet, see what's, you know, get some vision on what they've got. There you go. It's not that bad, actually. No, they're probably somewhere else, I guess. Yeah. Um, is that the full range of your fleet? Can you move any further? Yeah, I can move a little further. Oh, yeah, I can't actually get back into town anyway, so yeah, I'll move further. Oh, hang on. I mean, with that, if you wanted to take it, you could probably take it this turn. If I can reach it. Um, the way you do it is... It needs a force march on your army. Yeah, but I moved up my uh, fleet, oh, so right. I can't attack anymore. <laughs> yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, because your army, I don't think your army will make it. It might no. do, I mean, I think if you press space when you click on it, it'll show you the movement range. Well, I mean, I can, I can definitely get to... I can actually attack from the navy but then I'd have a massive disadvantage from that. I would have my my actual navy as reinforcements as well, though. That does mean I leave Alibu completely undefended. Although, against those ships, I suppose, the 
units I get there should be enough. Well, Angelus wouldn't be able to make it to you. So you could maybe park your army in this island here. If Angelus do come to you, I think from that island there, you could actually attack Angelus, subjugate them for a while, while you take on half and then go back for them. Right. I think what I'll do then is I'll move... Um, instead of move there, i move here, just because so I can still recruit the units. Uh-huh. I should be able to still reach that next turn, I reckon. So we'll do that. And then I'll just recruit those units anyway. Alright, and then my income next turn is going to be absolutely horrendous. And Alibu is free and happy as well, but... I could even move my units from Hrafnus Hall. Actually, no, I think I'll leave them there. I was going to say I could move them to Alibu instead, but... At least in Alibu I've got some units to defend. Mm -hmm. In uh, Raftus Soldier still hurt from when I took over, so yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, um, I guess let me just quickly check if anyone wants to trade with me. A flapping tongue that. Greetings. Doesn't look like it. All right. Ooh. Danians. Caledonians. They got a full stack nearly. Are they? Yeah, they're sitting next to Sigontium. Uh, this is where the uh, if I don't deal with that quickly, they go and do you know what we're going to do to you? Just so you can't have trade. We're going to nuke Sigontium. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be annoying. Yes, very much. Do wonder where those Dane armies are, because I reckon when I take them, there's there's going to be at least two stacks, maybe not full, but mm -hmm. two stacks somewhere. That's the one thing with this is like factions train up units so quickly in the beginning of the game. It's crazy. Looks like there's nothing in Hafen at this point. Not even those units we just saw. Oh, you, are you attacking someone? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, this is probably going to be a neat... Yeah, I'll also resolve this. Alright. Unbalanced. Take on the warriors. Just wanted to get rid of the Abdanians and... Uh, I don't have to worry too much. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Then the only one is the Caledonian army that can still do anything, but... I'm just going to force march this one to Ablana. Um General's upgraded, so same again, go for the cunning for a bit more. I'm just basically merging up a few of the units here and... Uh... Right, this general's leveled up again, so cunning and the raiding income. And a force march back into town. Right, I'm getting my income back now. I'm nearly about a thousand a turn. Nice. And public order building. I have a feeling I might lose uh, Lana. I might not. I might be lucky. Just quick check on offices. I've really wavered loyalty here. You afraid you'll lose the uh, at least Lana to the Catalonians or someone else? I am a bit, yeah. Um... Lana's going to be the Caledonian, so I'm going to have to try and bring the unit that's the, the army that's in Elden round and use that other one. Yeah. It also looks like it's going to be a rebellion. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with a rebellion. 
So, because it's going to rebel anyway, I'm going to walk the taxes up for a turn. Might as well get some income out of it, even though it's going to rebel. Faction destroyed the Danians. Nice. And that's who rebelled. <laughs> the Abdanians. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, right, so I think we should end it here. It's been an hour. As it say? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching the first episode of our new co-op let's play. And we'll see you again next time. Yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.